Hey everybody, it's Robin and welcome back to my channel. Today on the Robin's Nest, we are going to be making this absolutely stunning flower pot cake. Now, I will admit, I don't actually have much of a green thumb, but I guess you could say I have a bit of a sweet thumb. So today we're going to be doing my style of gardening. So let's get into it. So for this cake, we need to make it look like a flower pot. So I'm going to take my cake leveler and start leveling out my layers. Then we're going to stack and fill them so we can start carving out our flower pot shape. Now once we've gotten the shape that we want, it's time to do our crumb coat. And once we're done with that, we're going to get it off to the fridge to chill for a little bit. And when we come back, we're going to work on a nice decorative cake board to put our cake on. So for our cake board, I'm going to be attempting a stone pattern. So I'm just going to use a little bit of grey fondant, a ruler, and some simple fondant sculpting tools to accomplish the job. And I'm also going to add a little happy birthday message. Okay, I finished my cake board and I think it looks great. So I'm gonna get this off to dry for a little bit and I'm gonna go grab my cake and we're gonna do our final coat of icing. So for this coat of icing, I'm gonna add a nice generous layer and smooth it all out. Then with what I have left over, I'm gonna put that in a piping bag and I'm gonna pipe it all around the outside top edge of my cake to create the lip of our flower pot. Alright, so I finished shaping my cake and I think that looks great. So I'm going to get this off to the freezer and chill it for a little bit to firm it up really well for when we shift it to our cake board later on. And then I'm going to show you a quick example of how I make my little wired roses. So for our flowers, I wanted to keep them super, super simple. So we're just going to be using a fondant smoother, some flower wire, and our fingers to make them. But I also wanted them to be multi-dimensional. So we're going to be using three different colors of pink. And as you can see, I made a whole bunch of them here ahead of time. So they'll be nice and dry and ready for our cake. Now I'm just going to show you guys a quick little visual run through of how I make them and hopefully you can follow along. Well guys, here's my little wired fondant rose. Now, if you guys would like a more in-depth tutorial on how I made these, you can let me know what you think in the comment section down below, or you can check out my other how to make a rose tutorial video in the eye up above. Now, all we have left to do is make a little number sign for the side of our cake, and then we can put everything together, and I can show you the big reveal. So the first thing we're going to do is transfer our cake to our cake board. Then we're going to use a little bit of this cookie crumble mixed with butter for the top of our cake to look like dirt. And then I'm going to add all of our flowers and our leaves and our finishing touches. And I even have a little shovel to stick in the dirt. Oh, 
Well guys, here it is. What do you think? I think it's perfect. I'm so in love with it. And I really think it's the perfect cake to celebrate a springtime birthday or even Mother's Day too. That's right around the corner and it would be a perfect gift for her. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed the video and you'd love to see more like this one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. Thanks for watching.